Because you thought you were all black? Mm -hmm. Well, you're half of daddy, and daddy's black, right? Daddy's a boy. Cam, you're black, Filipino, and Mexican. You're half of daddy and half of mommy. So you're half of what daddy is and half of what mommy is, right? Why are you so upset about it? I want to be all black. You want to be all black? Yeah. I'm a half black, mommy. What do you mean? What number? 50%. You want it to be more? Yeah. Like how much? Why are you so upset? Because I think I'm white. If I'm not black, that means I'm white. You're not white. How do you know? I'm black and I want to be all black. Oh, yeah. You're mad because. <laughs> all right, Shalom, man. Um, starting. I'd like to start first by giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Harakak well, Wadash. Double honor right? to the elder apostles at Great Millstone who rule well. And green salutations and blessings unto the house of David, the elect, those that will receive salvation. Shalom unto you. All right, we got a quick lesson here. Um, Basically, I'm sure you guys have probably seen this. It's a little old or whatever, but. Um, this little kid right here is hot. He he don't understand the scriptures and neither do his parents. Okay? He's mad because he wants to be 100% black. Not realizing he is 100% black. Because he thinks he's white. <laughs> you know? He thinks he's white. Whether he understands it or not, it's not in the, in the, in the trying and coming times, it's not going to be fashionable to be white. In the near future, or to be a, an Edomite in the near future, right? Well, it's not going to be fashionable. It's not going to be prosperous to be anything but a man of the Lord. Which first you have to be uh, of the seed of, of, uh, of Israel, so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans. Even the confusion of faces. This little boy here is also a confusion of face. You know, his daddy's black, his mama's uh, Filipino and Mexican, or whatever. Right. Well, well, he's a Jew. He's a he's a Judite. He's he's from the um, he's an Israelite. Okay. Let me stop it about right here, cause he's pissed. Right. Let me go back see if I can catch that part. He says because I think, because I think I'm white. Right. And, and like I'm telling, trying to explain to you guys, uh, to be a so-called white man right now in this society is all is all good. Right there. We're going to get that, okay? To be a so-called white man in this society right now is all good, man. There's benefits. There, there's just things just click for you. Because this was your dominion. This is the blessing you got from Isaac. But this was just a temporary thing. And, and matter of fact, this is the end of that temporary thing. Okay? Well, all the wickedness that you've done all over the earth is about to come, come home to you. All right? Matter of fact, I didn't have it written, but let me write this down right quick. I'm going to go to the book of Second uh, Thessalonians. Hold on one second. Okay, Second Thessalonians chapter, um, where we want to start at. Uh, we're going to start at um, verse 7. It says, For the mystery of iniquity do already work. Only he who now let it will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. Even him whose working is after the working of Satan, which Satan means uh, the uh, <clears throat> the adversary, right? Adversary of the Most High, adversary of you children of Israel, adversary of righteousness. Okay, it says uh, with all power and, and signs and lying wonders. Okay, well that that's the so-called white man that done that. And if you read up into the uh, the fourth, the uh, third and fourth verse, the man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. The son of the wicked. That's the so-called white man. Okay? Those are, that's the wicked upon the earth. Okay? he He's the one that, like the fourth verse says, he's the one that thinks he's God. He's the one putting himself in position of God. That's why you see the white images of Jesus. You know, who you, who you call Jesus Christ is, is a white image when you Google Jesus Christ. Okay? When you Google God, it's a white image. Okay? You look at the angels and everything else. It says uh, the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, wherein who is he? Right? 
pursuing the jail of the ninth chapter, the twenty fourth verse. So if 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 who who's doing that? Who's doing that? He is the synagogue of Satan. Who's doing that? When you go to Revelation, the second chapter, the synagogue of Satan, who call themselves Jews, but they are not, but do lie in the third chapter, right? Who's doing that? That's the so-called white man doing that, okay? But I'm going to go back here because when the tides turn, I'm going to show you what the scriptures say about when the tide turns. Most high changes it over. When he breaks his system down, it's this, this uh, society down and lawlessness comes out in the streets, right? But then he he begins to work with his his chosen and his people. Okay, I'm gonna start Jeremiah chapter 16 verse 16 it says, "Behold, I will send for many fishers," saith the Lord Yahweh, "and they shall fish them." And right now we're in that fishing season. Right now is the all out push, man. Year of prophecy, all out push, man. Right now we're fishing. We're uploading these videos as much as possible, so we're fishing. Okay, what are we fishing for? We're fishing for the elect. Out of the nation of Israel, the so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, and confusion of faces that are, have an Israelite spirit. We're looking for them to wake up and come into this thing with their whole heart and sincerity for Yahweh Bashem Yashai to earn their salvation. Okay, according to the scriptures. Okay, that's what this is about. It says, um, uh, after that, and after will I send for many many hunters. And they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So hunting who? We're going to be hunting these other nations, particularly the nation of Edom. So-called white man. We're going to be hunting you on the earth. We're going to be hunting you in the earth to, to, to get the wickedness of off the planet. Okay? I'm going to back that up with the book of uh, Obadiah right quick. All right? Tie you right into that. Obadiah chapter... There's only one chapter. The first chapter, verse uh, 2. I'm going to start verse 2. said, Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen. Thou art greatly despised. The so-called white man is the smallest nation among all the nations of the earth. And they're the most hated of every nation of the earth. Why? Because they go uh, pillaging and they're and they killing, uh, destroy, uh, rape, rob, and murder is what they're known for. They're the sons of perdition, the sons of destruction, Okay. And the earth is taking notice. That's why when I read Second Thessalonians, he's being revealed in this time that all his history is up on Google. You look it up and you see that it's him doing it. Okay? So we know we know who he is in today's time. Alright? So um, verse 3 it says, The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rocks, whose habitation is high, and saith in his heart, who shall bring me down? When you say habitation is high and close to the rock, the, the name cave dweller is, is Caucasian. Because they came out of the Caucasus Mountains before they came down into rulership in the Renaissance uh, era. Okay? And before that, they dwelled in Jordan, southeast of, uh, southeast of Israel, in Mount Seir, where they was in the caves. It's in their spirit to live in caves. That's why they keep all these high-rise buildings. Okay? This thing is spiritual. You got to see it that way. This thing is spiritual. Okay, it says, verse 4, uh, Though thou exalt thyself as the eagle, and he exalted himself as the eagle uh, throughout his, ever he was in power. America's the eagle. Rome was the eagle. Okay? That's why you go to um, Petra, Jordan, where Mount Seir is located. What does he have there? He has the pillars, just like in Washington, D.C., just like in the Roman Empire. Okay? It was all these columns. That that's that's something that you can look and see that that's his type of architecture that he likes, high habitations where he's, he's elevated above in a cave-like setting. These apartment buildings, high rises, and the and these columns, man, you can see it. Okay, it says, um, and though thou set thy nest amongst the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. Yeah, he set his nest amongst the stars. He tried to go up in the space, saying it wasn't no no black people. On the first space explorations in the late 60s, early 70s. It was a so-called white man from different countries. Germany, Russia, Sputnik, you know, America, the Apollos, or whatever else. Okay? I'm going to go from there to um, the book of Isaiah. i try to run through this pretty quickly. A uh, little bang for the book, right? Isaiah chapter 13. And I'm going to go to verse um, 14. It says... <clears throat> 
and it shall shall be as the chase roe, and as a sheep that no man taketh up. Yeah, nobody's gonna be able to protect you. Society's gonna break down. The cops are not gonna be protected because they're too busy trying to protect themselves. It's gonna be lawlessness, uh, 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 all out chaos, man. Okay, every every man for himself. It says, um, they shall. Every man turn to his own people and flee everyone to his own land. These other nations, they're going to be like, man, I'm getting up out of America, man. I'm going back to, to wherever the hell I'm from. Other country I got to go back to. But you so-called Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, you got nowhere to go back to. You're not Africans. Africans don't want you. They're, they're your oldest enemy. Okay? They're the first, they're first nation that had you in captivity. Okay? With the Egyptians. All right? It says, um... 15, everyone that is found shall be thrust through, meaning killed or slayed, right? It says, um, and everyone that is joined unto them shall fall by the sword, right? It said, their children also shall be dashed to pieces before their eyes. Yeah, they did that to your children. They cut, they cut your, your pregnant women, your wives' stomachs open and pulled the babies out, stomped on the babies and put it back in there. That's the turkey stuffing. They chopped your heads off and kicked it around. Okay, and created the game soccer or football all over the world. Okay, and you, you, you simple ass people play that game still. Okay, what do you think the black is? It's the bruises in the um, uh, or the soccer ball. It's the bruises in the uh, in, the, in the eyes. Okay, um, also um, <clears throat> he would uh, take you and wrap a, a a rope around your your, your ankle. And toss you into the, the bayous and the alligators will get you. You will be gator bait. This is the this is the history the so-called white man did to you, Negro Latinos and Native Americans, okay? This is what he does. This is his heritage. This is what he's known for. Okay? And Google, with this net neutrality thing, Google will allow you to look these things up if you ask the right questions and dig deep enough. Okay? Study to show thyself approved unto the most high God. Okay, stop taking the easy way out. Anyway, it says, um, yeah, it says, uh, their houses shall be spoiled and their wives ravished. Your women going to get chased down and raped also. And that's why they already getting accustomed to this whole BBC movement. Okay. Anyway, it says, um, behold, I will stir up the meads against them, which shall not regard silver. And as for gold, they shall not delight in it. Their bowls shall dash the young men to pieces and. And they shall have no pity on the fruit of the womb, children. Their eyes shall not spare the children. And Babylon, the glory of the kingdom, the beauty of the Chaldees, excellency, shall be as when the Most High God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Yeah, because these missiles, man, these arrows of these missiles and these bows, is these missiles, man, that's going to destroy America and wipe it completely out, make it an inhabitable desert. Okay? And he's going to use the Medes, which today the modern day Medes are the or more Edomites, which are the Russians. Okay, it's going to destroy America. When it's talking about Babylon right here, it's talking about America that it's going to destroy in prophecy. It says, um, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch the tent there, neither shall the, the shepherds make their fold there. Okay, let me um, go from there to the book of Ezekiel. Yep, the book of Ezekiel, the 25th chapter, Ezekiel 25, I'm going to start at verse 12. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, because that Edom have dealt against the house of Judah by taking vengeance and have greatly offended and revenged himself upon them, he revenged himself. Even when I get into the next, I'm going to go to the 35th chapter after this, but you see that he, he when our iniquity had in, he kept going, okay? Because he said in his heart back after, he said, the days of mourning my father are at hand, but then when I begin to slay my brother um, Jacob, back when uh, he realized Jacob got the, 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 the big blessing, so to speak, okay? That's in Genesis, the 27th chapter. Look this stuff up, man, and read it for you that's, that's coming into this thing. To prove it, look this stuff up and read it for yourself. Don't take our words for it when you see these videos. Go do your research, man. Your salvation is at hand. Okay? Because there's, there's, there's as much as, as we may be A1 square on, on, on what we speak, 
Not everybody's like that, man. Your, your church pastors ain't like that. Some of these other Israelite groups aren't like that either. Okay? Anyway, it says, um, <clears throat> verse 13 in uh, Ezekiel, the 25th chapter. Therefore, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, I will also stretch out mine hand upon Edom, and I will cut off man and beast from it, and I will make it desolate from Teman, and they of Dedan shall fall by the sword. Those are cities in the land of Edom, okay? And everywhere is a people before it's a place, okay? It says, and I will lay my vengeance upon Edom by the hand of my people Israel. So he's going to let us get it in with, with him. That's when you're going to become that chase row, and we're going to be hunters, okay? We're going to be chasing you down and hunting you because the Most High is going to give us the power to chase you and hunt you down, man, and let us put his, our hands on you. Put our hands around your necks, okay? Put our foot in your necks, okay? It says, uh, and they shall do and eat them according to mine anger, according to his anger. We're not mad enough. The Most High is more angry than we are, okay? It says, um, and according to my fury, and they shall know my vengeance, saith the Lord Yahweh. And, we, and the world will know the vengeance of the Most High God, okay? All right, from there, I'm going to go over to the, the 35th chapter in Ezekiel. <clears throat> Bear with me one sec. That's why the little kid crying, man, because deep in that kid's spirit, him being a Jake, he's, he's free, you know, he don't want to be white. That's the main thing. He don't want to be white. And it's not profitable to be white in the future coming up. You know, matter of fact, let me go to um to another script right quick. This is Isaiah 14, verse 21. It says, prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquities of their fathers. Yeah, so-called white man's forefathers, he left a tab for you, these later generations, man. Even though the reincarnation process happened and you're back here on the earth again to serve your own judgment for what you did as your, for, as your forefathers, right? He left a tab, though. In a previous life, even though you may not be hate niggers or, or in spicks and and, 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 and and Indians or whatever right now, guess what? In, in the previous lives, you did. Okay? And you got to pay for that. It said, they, that they do not rise nor possess the land nor fill the face of the world with cities. Yeah, man, y'all coming out of rulership, man. Y'all in rulership now, but y'all about to come out of that. Your, your, your thing is crumbling now. Your, your, your kingdom's crumbling. Your empire is crumbling now. Okay, it's, this is the book of um, Ezekiel, the 35th chapter. I'm going to start the first verse. It says, Moreover, the word of the Lord, Yahweh, came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it. Mount Seir is that land that the so-called white man inhabited, Edom. He inhabited that land in ancient times. He was pushed there as Cain, okay? As a vagabond in the earth, and a wanderer, Okay? That was his land. It says, uh, and say unto it, thus saith the Lord Yahweh, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate. And the words here, most desolate, a desolation and a waste. Okay? He's going to destroy you. It says, I will lay thy cities waste, and thou shalt be desolate, and thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh. Because thou has had a perpetual hatred, an ongoing hatred, okay? That's what perpetual means. An ongoing hatred, uh, or it says here, an ancient hatred, okay? And has shed the blood of the children of Israel, which means you touch the apple of the Most High God's eye, okay? Without his permission. You, you did it with the permission, but then you kept going. It says here, it's going to say right here, it says... Um, and, the, and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. Yeah, after slavery, we were supposed to come out of slavery and go back into our land of Israel. Right? Out of the cotton fields, you're supposed to restore us back. But you didn't. What did you do? You continue putting more and more hell on us. KKK and so on and so forth. When it destroyed us, then, you, then the Emancipation Proclamation came around, and guess what happened then? You became systematic in your society with, with your slavery to us. Which, are, which are, to the point now in 2018, it's cops shooting shooting us down with no with no um with no retribution for us. Okay, well the Most High has his revenge for us coming. Okay, it says um 
and I will pre- therefore say, as I live, saith the Lord Yahweh, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue thee. Sith thou hast not hated blood, even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it, from him that passeth out, and him that returneth. Yeah, so there's nothing you can do, man. This man, the Most High is going to get you. That's why this kid's like, man, he, he's afraid to be white, man. Deep in his spirit, you can see he's frustrated. He's like, man, I'm white. I want to be all black. If not, I'm not all black, I'm white. It's going to be a problem. He's scared that he might not be a Jake. Well, well he is a Jake if his dad is, 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 is a so-called Negro. Okay? Because it goes according to, you, to the father line. You see, no matter what part of the earth, the woman is like the earth or the ground of you know, fertile soil. You plant that seed in there, a man plants his seed in there. Man, husband means farmer, plants his seed in there, and what happens? Whatever seed he plants is what sp- springs up out of that, no matter what it looks like, okay? So with that, I'm going to close out, man. Yep, this little little boy in tears after finding out he's half black, wants to be all black. Yeah, he is all black, by the way. But to be so-called white, it's not gonna be fashionable, man. You, 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 Jakes out there, especially you brothers in the truth, man. We, we know what this is about. You may be a confusion of face, but we, we're not confused about your spirit, man. We know who you brothers really are. Okay, it's these other people that don't matter to the Yahweh Bashim Yahushua that's gonna get destroyed. That, that, that can see with the natural carnal eye. Okay, but to really be an Edomite deep in your spirit, we, we see who you are too. We see you, the you wicked. We see even the wicked two thirds of our own people. We see you, and more importantly, the Most High God sees you. Okay, and you will not escape from it. Okay, so with that, we we'll close out, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Double honor to the elder apostles, the great millstone. Brachat Yahweh, Brachat Yahweh Shai. Call Allah Yahweh Bashim Yahshai by Hashem Harakakwadash. Double honor to the elder apostles of that great millstone who rule well. And greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect, the house of David, that will receive salvation. Shalom.